So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, um, gentlemen especially, um, it's your boy Brooklyn here, and I'm here to um, share with you a video about binding and um, with different binder kinds of binders. Um, I've only I'm only going to review two types of binding today, um, and binding with different types of pipe packers. I'm only going to review on two types of packers today and show you how I've made them or how I wear them or whatever um, so um, and disclaimer there might be some I, I, I don't want anyone to report my video or flag my video um, this is an educational video for tra of a trans female to males um, um, to help them relieve dysphoria um, it's, there's no nudity in there so I will try and be less um, um, you know sexual there's no sexual innuendos or whatever in this video so please YouTube other people do not flag this video because it's unfair on us unfair on me um, it's an educational purpose this video and I'm just trying to help other people and show other people what I've got in store um, for you guys okay so please don't so anyway here goes so first things first um, I want to show you um, a couple of binding techniques um, and a couple of binding rules and just tell you a couple of binding rules when you are putting these binders on how you can use them, where you can you use them, when can you use them, when can you not use them and stuff like that. Um, so I've got only two binding methods here, two binders, two binding methods. One is the normal binding where um, I have a normal binder here. There are different kinds of binder, different kinds of material. Well, this is a material, this is very breathable. To me, it's not such a breathable breathable binder because the skin that it's not that stretchy um I, um I don't like the fasten because when when you wear it um when you wear it it doesn't fasten it you have to kind of you know pinch and and pull pinch and pull to fasten pinch and pull to fasten pinch and pull to fasten pinch and pull push and pull and it's some people can't twist themselves much. Some people have problems with their with with their bones or their muscles or whatever, so they can't, you know, wear this binder for that kind of reason. But this binder is okay if you like that sort of thing because, like, I got this from eBay. Um, the reason why I got it from eBay because I live in the UK and I'm not being funny, but I have low budget. And I can't afford for the shipping, so I bought it on U on eBay, which is a UK site as well. Um, and um, but please do not get this binder because it's from China, and you know these binders are extra sm are very small, very tight. It doesn't matter if you get it in your size, if you get it on, in just your size. So say for example, if you're a medium size. Um, and you get it in medium, and you get it in medium. This will still feel a bit tight to you, and it'll always feel tight. Never wash them in a washing machine because it will get tighter and tighter, and it, will, it, it starts getting wear and tears. Don't do that. That's wrong. Nah. -uh. Um. So I'm gonna start to just talk about the do's and don'ts of wearing these binders. Um. Always, if you're ordering a binder like this off eBay. Always or anywhere really. Always get the size up. Measure your measure yourself, your chest. Measure your chest first, and always get one size up. Because if you get just your size or size below, it's gonna be way too tight for you. Trust me. Always get the size up. Okay, that's one thing. Now I'm gonna talk about the do's and don'ts. Do wear it um in the daytime only wear this in the daytime do not wear it um in the gym when you're exercising because you know if you sweat you know you're going to get hot and you're going to start sweating and the sweat is going to 
um, make the binder more tighter and compress you more and it's going to and it's going to compress your breathing and it's dangerous trust me it's dangerous you don't want to wear this in gym and whilst exercising in gym um you can wear like i really personally i wear this in the daytime i, I don't really wear this so often because i found another way of buying it but i'll talk about that in a minute really i wear this in the daytime if i do wear it i don't wear it when i'm inside because you know i get hot very easily i sweat very easily and for people that sweat very easily sweat a lot conspire a lot don't wear a binder inside you know you need to sweat inside a lot and conspire a lot inside don't do it um you wanna when i wear this when i wear this binder i always when i pull it on i always adjust my breasts and make sure when you adjust them you adjust them up not down if you adjust them down it's a bit dangerous you can puncture your lung so very be very careful okay that's what i learned about wearing these normal binders um also um do not whatever you do now this this is this this is a must do not whatever you do wear these binders for more than eight hours do not wear them in bed because these compresses your breathing okay and when you when you're asleep when you're when you're asleep what happens is you you need to give your chest room to breathe when you're sleeping you're breathing and you need to yes you need to give your your chest area you know room, um air space and room to breathe because if you wear a binder a normal binder like this during bedtime during sleep time you can stop your breathing in your sleep and i dread to think what could happen next okay so don't wear it going to bed don't wear it for more than eight hours don't put it in the washing machine to wash wash by hand wash by hand don't um wear it exercising and um, because of sweating and stuff like that um and always push always adjust your your breasts up and not down when wearing binder and don't 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 buy this off e off e if you're gonna buy it off ebay or amazon make sure you check where it's from coming from make sure don't buy it from China because it's too tight and it's not very good, okay? And, and last thing, but last, last but not least, <laughs> please, 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 please don't buy this bind, that is crap. Anyway, throw it away! So next, I'm going to show you a different way of binding. This is what I've learned, at least, it, it depends on what works for you. Everybody has their different ways of binding. Everybody has their different, like, feels, you know, has their, you know, um, you know, feels different or the same with different types of binding. So, it's not, this, this don't have to be just for you, okay? But, I found that wearing this binder type of bind that doing this type of binding is amazing this is two these are two sports bras i've put on top of each other so what you do i'm just going to take this out what you do is take the padding out the bras okay don't have the padding in so you you know you you turn it inside out on both on each bra Or if you don't own a sports bra, any sports bra, just go and buy them a cheap. You know, you get you get two in a pack or three in a pack, whatever. You know, if you're a big chest, it's, it's, this, this is more for geared for small chested people. But if you're small chested, buy two. Don't buy, don't, if the wear two, don't wear three because it's going to be too tight. And if you wear three, wear two. So what you do is turn it inside out like I've just, just shown you just now. And then... You see, you, no, that ain't inside out. I thought that was inside out. Um, so you turn it inside out, and you see these holes. 
you take the pad padding out from the holes. Okay, I've already took the padding out, so I can't even show you. You take the padding out and you turn it back in the right way around on both of them. Okay, so you put put the one that you want on top first. Uh, put the one that you don't want to wear on top first. So I. I don't want to. I don't want this visible to my eye first, so I put this one on first. So you put that on. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you <laughs> how it looks. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how it looks. So I've put that on first. This is the one that I don't want visible to my eye. So I put that one on first. So now I'm gonna show you. Um. This is well you have to put, take the padding out, obviously. Turn it inside out and take the padding out. I'm going to put this one on. Remember, this don't always work for everybody, so everyone's different. Adjust the straps. Make sure there's nothing sticking in your back and your skin. Um... I would just like adjust my um, breasts. I hate that word. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. As you see, it is done. So now I'm gonna put. I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a with a with a with a shirt on. Uh, okay. Why is my stomach like this today? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my favorite shirt on. I love putting the shirt on when I'm wearing a binder. When I'm wearing a binder, I love to put this shirt on top. I love this shirt. This is my favorite shirt. So I'm gonna show you first hand what it looks like. This is what it looks like. This is what this type of binding looks like, and it just makes your chest look more prominent. As it makes your chest look more masculine look at that 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 makes your chest look more masculine and what i advise if you're when you're binding doesn't matter if you're binding with bras it doesn't matter if you're binding with a normal binder whatever type of binder you're binding wear my advice you don't have to but my advice is wear a tight top or a kind, slightly loose top. You don't have to wear tight. It depends on how you feel about your chest. If you feel it's flat enough, and you can feel it, if it's flat enough, wear a tight top. If you don't feel it's flat enough, obviously, you know, find another way to bind. But wear sort of top that is um, got patterns on and stri or stripes on, so that no one can see bulges and stuff like that if you feel self-conscious but i like this i like how it looks so that's it i think i'm gonna wear this top today it's quiet yeah i'm gonna wear this top today it's quiet so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my stuff on yeah i'm gonna wear this today to quiet yes wear this to quiet today nice one i look good <laughs> Let's put my um watch on. I'm gonna put my stuff on right now. Get ready right now. Actually no, I'll put my watch on. I need to brush my teeth first and get ready. <laughs> Freshen up and get ready. Okay, I'm gonna show you now um the two types of um packing. So you got sock packer. Now this is one I made a long time ago. Um, so what you do it like uh, seriously like this is no good man. I can't stand packing with socks This I basically put um, I had like a, a, a hair bubble two um, little socks and I cut them at the ends I put I rolled up two balls of other socks and I put them in the sock that I cut uh, to make balls then 
I used a bigger saw um, and kind of the put an, another sock in there so I've turned it on each, each, uh, itself and kind of you know shaped it like that you can if you want put some tape um, some some um, tape around it um, and then just put that in there inside that sock to make the shaft, to make the, 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 the penile part and just kind of, you know, adjust. Again, you can put tape around to make it look the proper shape, you know? Now what you do with these balls, you grab them with your whole hand, squash them in your hand like that and then you put them inside the sock like that, like so. Um, make sure you grab the sock that's inside with your two fingers and kind of just adjust, 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 adjust. So that's what I do, just adjust there. And you see it's make the shape. Um, you don't want it too big. You don't want this part too long. So what I would actually do is kind of go back inside the sock. And um, kind of go back inside the sock and kind of pull this. Um, the balls down a little bit more we will pull this up then it's a better shape you don't want to make that bit too small you don't want to make the balls too I think the balls are too the the ball sacks are too big um, the ball sacks are too big, you just want to then just overlap with the end of the sock so it's um, secure. It does take a little while to adjust, to shape it and adjust, but there you go, there's a sock packer and I'm going to in a minute show you how it looks like in my pants. Um, another packer. I'll show you in a second. So this is a, another type of packer. I recommend this. I really do strongly recommend this. And in my mind, like I haven't tried the the real Mr. Limpy or the real packers, the ones that are plastic. I ain't tried them yet. But in my mind, it just looks like they wouldn't fit properly in my pants. It just looks like I'd have to, you know, get proper um, packing underwear. Um, I'd have to, you know, make sure they don't fall out my pants. Because you don't want that. <laughs> so anyway. Oh my God. So anyway, like, I recommend this. This is a fabricated, handmade packer with a safety pin already attached to it now i'm going to just um quickly get the information on the guy that makes these kudos to him he's fantastic the guy that makes these is giving me he's sent me this card with the with, with the you know the packer and stuff like that so the guy that makes these he's um his company is called Transpacking Universe and his website is um, 
www.etsy.com I will put the website down in the link um, I can't remember the guy's name so I'm gonna have to get that put I'll put that in the link and you know he's on Facebook um, and this 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 right here is what he does he hand makes packing pouches he hand makes different size different color material packers um and he's really good at what he does man this this packer it feels so real in my pants you know it feels so real it's a proper it's a nice size bulge and i'm gonna wear this for you after i've shown you <laughs> me wearing the other packer so i don't you don't need to wear proper packing boxes for these you don't need you don't need to wear packing boxes for these for this you just you know you just like pin it to the boxes so i'm going to show you um so you just pin it inside the boxes um this way around this way around and you just pin the pin um about a couple of inches um, about a couple of inches below the um, the the waistband inside and just wear it lovely um, hold on a minute sorry about that ladies and gentlemen um tripping batteries low so I have to put it in for charge so um, what was I saying yeah you just put that inside your boxes like that and you put the pin, you pin it inside your boxes, um, a couple of inches below the um, the waistband here, and we'll just wear it. So I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to show you this first because actually I'll leave the best to last. Okay. So I want to show you this. Now with this, you have to, you have to, I, you have to wear men's briefs first inside before you put in your actual boxes to wear a sock packer because otherwise it will start flopping around everywhere you don't want that okay so what's going on in my charger so let me show you i don't know what's going on in my charger okay So I'd wear, you can wear any, any of these, um, and you just pop it on, and you just place, you just place them inside your boxes, so I'm going to move you and show you, move you and show you, what I want, let try it. Okay, that ain't working. <laughs> Stay. So, this is what I'm wearing, and um, and so like yeah, I, you just put them in inside, like so, right there, sitting right there, and and you just stick that right there like that and already the bulge isn't very good so or already it's not feasible <laughs> so already that's not feasible is it so I want to show you and wearing me wearing the other one okay so just undo the safety pin there okay and then turn it around and then um, inside the boxes there, and just um, pin it a couple of inches down. Make sure, make sure that it's. Um, make sure that it's um, gonna. 
fit. So you just pin that. Put it inches down there. And then, hey presto. Why is it? Oh, yes. And then, you just, you know, turn the boxes inside out. Eh? Sorry about this, but my charger keeps saying it's going out of battery, which is nice being charged. So anyway, this is how the packer looks. And it's a very nice, nicely shaped bulge. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a very nice shaped bulge. You don't have to, like I said, you don't have to wear pack minions. <laughs> you don't have to wear packing boxes. You just wear this like this. Just pin it inside, and there you go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Packing. This is the way forward. This kind of packing, material packing, is the way forward. And binding with um, with with um, bras. No good. But anyway, I gotta go. Peace out, people.